We learned new details yesterday in the case of Bella Bond, known for months as Baby Doe, after her body washed up on Deer Island last year. Bella's mother, Rochelle, was arraigned on accessory to murder and larceny charges, pled not guilty, then held on a million dollars bail. During the hearing, prosecutors declared Rochelle accepted more than $1,400 in welfare money for, uh, on her child's behalf, even though her daughter was dead. They described the murder itself in detail, saying Rochelle watched her boyfriend and Bella's accused killer, Michael McCarthy, quote, moving his arms quickly in the area of the girl's midsection. They say Rochelle told police she knew her daughter was dead because her face was gray and swollen. She helped come up with the plot to hide Bella's body, they said, by loading a trash bag with weights and throwing it into the water near the seaport. After Bella's body was found, while investigators searched the nation trying to identify her, prosecutors say Rochelle attended a family reunion with McCarthy, told the girl's biological father their daughter was away with family when he tried to see her. The mother's attorney, Janice Basil, joins me now. Janice, thanks so much for being here. On the accessory uh, to murder after the fact, while you pled not guilty on her behalf yesterday, she doesn't deny disposing of the body, refusing to tell anyone, and just going ahead with life, does she? Well, yes. We adamantly deny that she was part of any plan to dispose of the body. McCarthy did that. And the issue of his control over her, whether it was physical, emotional, psychological, or providing her with drugs in her state of mind, has a great deal to do with the issue of accessory after the fact. Is that, that's what I want to understand. Is the, are you suggesting she's not guilty because she didn't do the crimes, not guilty because she's incompetent, or not guilty because she was in fear for her life from this McCarthy character? I would not say that she was incompetent. I would say that she was very much uh, under his direction, that she did not join in any plan. He took these actions on his own. And I would say that um, failing to report a crime is not a crime in Massachusetts. And there is a lot of uh, very hard feeling about her failure to report that her daughter was missing or that McCarthy had killed her daughter. But that in and of itself is not accessory after the fact. So your contention is she did nothing to help him dispose of the body, allegedly put the body in the refrigerator for a few days. She had he nothing to do with any he of that is it. your contention. That's correct. You know, part of your mission, you know far better than I, jury, is you have to create sympathy for your client. And I've read you saying an arrangement she loved her daughter. What is it, 32 arraignments, two prior children taken away by the Department of Children and Families, and even if it's not a crime, failure to notify anybody when her body is lying in a bag uh, uh, on off Deer Island. How do you create sympathy, and why should there be sympathy for such a person? I actually have a great deal of sympathy for my client. And I feel that if I can feel sympathy for her and empathy for her, I hope that I can communicate it. She's had an extraordinarily difficult life. She is what I would describe as a broken person. She um, has had issues of abuse in her own life. She has struggled to make something of her life, and at times she has failed. Um, she. She's a broken person, and I hope that I can communicate that to a jury. But, but is that relevant to her guilt or innocence, or is it relevant to what her sentence should be, should no, she be found guilty? It's relevant to her guilt or innocence in the sense that Michael McCarthy was able to take advantage of her and was able to take the actions he did. And it, that's how it's relevant. I, am I correct in, in understanding that the, even the prosecution agrees that McCarthy threatened her life. Is yes. that correct? Yes. So that's not going to be in dispute in not this trial. That I'm aware the question of. is what impact is that going to have on the jury's right. perception of her? Um, it's a little hard to say about that. I, I can't really predict what the jury's perceptions would be, but I do think that um, at least the evidence that I've read to date, and I just started reading the evidence, is that uh, the sort of scheme and plot around. Uh, taking the body and disposing uh -huh. of it and so forth, all comes from him. But she saw these billboards. She saw these photographs. She uh, no. knows her kid, didn't she? I don't think she did. You don't, don't think she saw any of these things it's on hard. television, virtually nonstop she billboards? She didn't have a TV. She went out in the world, did she She not? did go out in the world, and to the degree that, to my knowledge, she didn't see it. But I can't really tell you specifically whether that's completely accurate or not. Is she going to testify against this boyfriend? Yes, she wants to. And are you trying to cut a deal as part of that testimony? She will testify no matter what happens. Against him? Against him. Will I mean, she that, testify in her own defense? I don't know that. But I can tell you that uh, 
she is extremely sad and depressed, and most of what she lives for is the idea that she will testify against him. How does she, besides sad and depressed about losing uh, her daughter, what, how is she dealing with the prospect of spending a significant chunk of the rest of her life in jail? Well, jail right now is extremely hard. Um, she is isolated. She, it's not just that. She is, it is screamed at her day and night, baby killer, by both staff and other inmates. Um, she has no one to really talk to. She is somebody who deals with her life in sort of not much expectation that great things will happen to her. She lived under a bridge in a tent. Has she expressed any regret to you about the fact that she did allow her dead child's body to she be unidentified for months and months and months? She has tremendous regret about the death of her daughter. She has tremendous regret about al allowing Michael McCarthy into her life. She has tremendous regret. And doing nothing to stop it or have the body after the fact discovered? Does she have regret about that? She has tremendous regret about everything, and she struggles. This is what I see her about all the time. She struggles all the time to try to come to an understanding of it. Janice Basil, thank you for your time. You're I welcome. really appreciate it. I know it's a tough time.